Hi, I'm the College Money Mom. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is a fairly new department of the federal government whose mission is to help consumers take control over their economic lives. Today I'm going to show you one way the CFPB is helping student loan borrowers better understand their options for loan repayment. It's called the Repay Student Debt Tool. You can find it by typing consumerfinance.gov into your address bar. Click on Pay for College, then click on Repay Student Debt. Here you can answer questions about your situation regarding your federal or your private student loans. Your answers will lead to options to help you deal more knowledgeably with student loan servicers. These companies are hired by both the federal government and private lenders to make sure you repay your loans. Lately, there have been a lot of complaints about student loan servicers. Borrowers have reported serious problems to the CFPB. The Bureau is working on resolving individual complaints, but meanwhile, they are offering this self-help tool to head off trouble in advance. Let's try some scenarios. In this example, let's assume I have federal student loans, so I'll click on the Federal button. And up comes a question about whether I have missed one or more payments on my student loans. I'll answer yes. Am I currently in default? Here's the definition. Having gone nine months without making a payment, so I'll say yes. Can I make any payments on my defaulted federal loan? Well, since I think I can scrape up one payment, I'll say yes. Do I need to go back to school in the fall? Yes, I do plan to go back to school. So here's the advice my loan servicer might or might not tell me. But now I know what my options are. First, I can consolidate my loans to get out of default and restore my eligibility for federal student aid. I will gain access to one of the alternative payment plans available to all federal student loan borrowers, like the new revised Pay As You Earn plan. I can also choose to rehabilitate my loans instead of consolidating. And I can see how to pursue my right to a resolution if I am having trouble with my student loan servicer or a debt collector by complaining to the Federal Student Aid Ombudsman Group at the U.S. Department of Education. And finally, here's a reminder to get all my federal student loan information before talking to my loan servicer. A link right to the National Student Loan Data System is provided here. Now click Clear All to go back to the top, and we'll go through a private student loan scenario. I'll click on the Non-Federal button. Have I missed one or more payments on my student loans? I'll say yes. Am I currently in default? Let's say my situation fits the definition and that I am now getting calls from debt collectors, so I'll answer yes. The result is a detailed tutorial about getting out of default. I'll learn that since I have private, non-federal loans, there are laws about how debt collectors may treat me. For instance, debt collectors cannot abuse, harass, or make false statements to me. I'll also learn that I may be able to negotiate for a different payment plan to get myself out of default. To move forward, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau offers five sample action letters to help a non-lawyer like myself communicate confidently with debt collectors. I can click to get a sample letter asking for more information like, why do you think I owe the debt and to whom do you think I owe it? And there are many more questions I would never have thought to ask. Scrolling down, there is a sample letter to stop a debt collector from communicating with me until they prove I am actually responsible for the debt. If I am indeed responsible for the debt, here's a sample letter to control how and when the debt collector can contact me. Then there's a sample letter telling the debt collector not to contact me again because I have hired a lawyer who will handle all communications about the debt. And finally, Here's a Stop All Communications sample letter. This stops debt collectors from contacting me, but does not stop them from other remedies like filing a lawsuit. Want to try another scenario? Click Clear All to start over. If you do this a few times, you'll begin to understand more about the student loan repayment system, and you'll be better prepared to avoid the pitfalls. 
Look for some more good links on this subject in the info section under this video. Be sure to like me on Facebook and subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.